I'm not flying Cause I'm upside down oh. So no need to drown No Cause you're my upside down I thought I had to Build a castle for you Let's do this thing Must save the castle Cause the castle is you To be here, but then I'll use it to just promise to be there to love me more than you are willing to admit. I'll be more if you would dislike surprises. I think you're more than golden to get. Consciousness, consciousness, consciousness is the answer to all problems. There is an infinite, infinite, infinite source within you, within me, that is here right now, present. It is infinite. It is everything. It has created everything. It has created the problems. It has created this karmic experience we're having. It is created through the law of cause and effect. And it is only to the extent which you are not allowing the source, the infinite potential, the innovation to go through, to release, to receive through the law of, of circulation. It is through the law of circulation that all things are able to, we're able to work through anything and everything. So what does that mean? That means it's your mind that is limiting you. It is thinking that you can only have abundance through this thing called the dollar bill. It is thinking that you gotta leave the house to have abundance. This is the lie. This is the lie right here, right now. We have to move past this, you guys. Guess what? The monetary system will always have ups and downs. Always, always, always. There's going to be new viruses. Always, 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 okay? You gotta get your mind right today. And how do we do this? We do this by serving, by getting in flow. The law of circulation is by, it's not just, it's about giving and receiving, but you, you've got to think about how you can give and not receive right now. You've got to give and serve and serve and serve. So I will never forget. I will never forget growing up as a little girl. I remember like there was this other mom. Okay. We, there was this other mom. I won't name too many names. because I don't want to get people involved, but there was this amazing mom, kind of crazy mom. I'm not going to lie. I had these two friends um, and their mother became very spiritual. And she actually, 
began, she, she, her and her father, their father and their mother actually separated. And the mom moved into the living room, literally, and painted the entire living room purple. Purple. And the dad was kind of a drunk, not gonna lie, and he would get drunk every day, and he'd go to his room, and she'd go to the living room, to her purple living room, and meditate and pray all day and chant. And I was like really confused as a little girl. I was like, what's going on? You know, what the hell is this, right? And my mom was actually very anti-spirituality at that point in time. She's amazing today, but she didn't know, like because my dad had left to go find himself, if you will. He went to go find his spiritual nature and everything. So I think she had a little bit of trauma around the concept of spirituality. And quite frankly, our culture had a lot of trauma around the concept of God. And so here I was as a little girl, and I was growing up thinking, huh, well, I don't want to necessarily be on the side of, of the dad that goes to get drunk and there's all this chaos as, as you know, adults. And I don't know if I really want to be, a, a, you know, when I grow up a woman that is painting her living room purple and completely disassociating from all of life. And so I was like, I question it and question it. And I go, mom, what, what is the meaning of life? What are we doing? And she's like, I have no idea. Go play. What are you doing? So I grew up with this concept of that God was kind of a, a kind of for people that were checking out of life and not really actually living life and kind of like abandoning things and, and it was kind of bad. It had a bad connotation around it. And I had this concept around what it means to be normal, which was completely ridiculous in that it was like adults doing drugs, sleeping together and having all kinds of chaos. So I was trying to seek and seek and seek, like, what is this? What are we doing here, right? And as I grew up, I began to question, what is this thing called, you know, religion versus spirituality versus God? What is this thing? And if you know anything about me, I'm really obsessed, completely obsessed with learning, completely obsessed with, you know, spirituality and consciousness. And if you look up spirit, the word spirit means breath. It means breath. And breath is this... This thing that is, like when you take a deep breath in and you hold it like prana and you do breath work, it's, it'll get you high as, as F, right? It will energize you and, and bring you wisdom and, and it's the source of all wisdom and knowledge, right? It's breath. What is breath? It's like in between everything. And isn't that what we teach? We teach that God and spirit is everywhere, omnipotent and omnipresent all the time, everywhere and has all answers and all resources everywhere. And, and then if you think the word God, I was like, well, what is God? And you, if you look up the etymology of God and you look up the, the meaning of God and the definition of God, well, guess what? It is a man-made word by the Germans. It's the masculine aspect that they recreated the Bible into English and created this thing called, the, the original Bible doesn't even have the word God in it. There's no, that's not the word. That's not the word. It's the that's a man-made concept of, of the of whatever. It doesn't matter. But the point is, is that I grew up. I had to make peace with the word God, because we have to redefine what that means. We have to redefine and know that God, the real God source, is the I am. It is the I am, and I recognize that in that I am is the infinite energy and is the infinite of allness of everywhere all the time. And so if we get into that aspect of what we are, the true identity, the I am identity, that, that part of ourselves that knows everything, that has all answers, that knows and, and can problem solve through anything. In fact, it doesn't even know a problem. There's no such thing as a problem when it comes to source, right? So as we sit here today in our problems, in economical crisis, in pandemic, in personal strife, in breakups and makeups and addiction or whatever it is that is your problem, financial, physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever you want to call it, I recognize right here, right now that the answer to all problems is consciousness. Consciousness, if you look at and break down the word consciousness, is to be with the all. Consciousness. You are my friend. You, my friend, are one with the all because you are the all. You are the all. That's all there is. That's all there is, is allness. And anywhere you are having the perception that you're divided, anywhere you're having the perception 